in this problem, we're told that a scientist can determine the age of ancient objects by a method called radiocarbon dating. And then we're told a bunch more information, but the main takeaway is that it has a half-life of about uh, 5,730 years. And we're told a parchment fragment was discovered that had about 74% as much as the as much 14C radioactivity as does the plant material on Earth today. And we're asked to estimate the age. So, and we're supposed to round to the nearest 100 years. So the formula that you need to know for this is that y is equal to 0.5 to the t over k. We're going to use this formula to solve it. So y is going to be equal to this number right here, 74%. But we're going to put a decimal out in front of it, so it's just going to be 0.74. So that's going to be y. And then we have 0.5 raised to the t. And t is going to be time, but we don't know that. We're trying to find the h, so that's going to be our time. That's what we're solving for over k, and then k is going to be our half-life, and they told us that right here, it's 5,730. So now that we've got this formula right here, all we got to do is solve for t, and that's going to be our answer. So in order to solve this, what we should do is take the natural log of both sides. So we have the ln of 0.74, we write it, ln of 0.74 is equal to the ln of 0.5 raised to the t over 5,730. If you have the ln of a number raised to another number, you can just move this number out front. And so that's how we're going to rewrite it. So this is just going to become uh, t over 5,730 times the ln of 0.5. And then now all we got to do is solve for t. So if we multiply both sides by this number here, 5,730, to get the t by itself. We'll get 5,730 times the ln of 0.74 is equal to the ln or t times the ln of 0.5. And then all we got to do is divide by the ln of 0.5 to get t by itself. So we know that t is going to be equal to 5,730 5, times the ln of 0.74 divided by the ln of 0.5. So if you want to take that and plug it in your calculator, so you do 5,730 times the ln of 0.74 and divide that by the ln of 0.5 you are going to get uh, 2,489.128 and so on. But what they're asking us here is to round this number to the nearest 100 years. So we have 2,489. If we round to the nearest 100, it's going to become 2,500. And so 2,500 is going to be the answer to this question.